Well, it's been uh, an honor uh, to get down to the, in well, the, playing the state championship for the last several years, and uh, we're looking forward to it again. How do you guys prepare for uh, for the game? You know, year after year after year. Well, it's a different opponent, and uh, this year, uh, having moved up to 2A, we've got a very formidable opponent in uh, Heritage Christian, who uh, has only lost one ball game this year in uh, overtime. So they are uh, considered the the class of the class of 2A this year. So uh, uh, from that standpoint, we've got our work cut out for us. And obviously, you guys have had plenty of tests along the way, but is this? Is this the biggest test of all? I don't think there's any question. I think uh, this will be uh, the best team we've played all year in, in uh, relationship to the talent level and what they can do uh, in terms of team uh, concept. Now, do you have to talk to the girls at all about the experience, or do they pretty much already have it down pat? Well, uh, we'll have a we'll have just a uh, a few words to talk about in terms of preparation but uh, we're going to go about our uh, task just like we normally do uh, obviously it's a, a large venue but uh, one of the things that we found that uh, when you go into the large venues it's uh, more difficult to find the rim from the perimeter the depth perception behind tends to be an issue so uh, we'll do a lot of shooting when we get down there And uh, but uh, prior to uh, we'll go through our normal practice sessions, our uh, skull sessions, our film sessions, and everything like we normally do. Now, the, were the lines on the court an issue last year? I know they were like a couple years ago when it first went to Terre Haute. Is that going to be an issue again? The lines were not on last year, and uh, the ITSA uh, uh, decided that uh, they were going to play the full college floor, the 94 feet. Uh, so they are going to do that again this year. So there will be no lines on the floor. It will be a college-length uh, college, uh, court, uh, ten, 10 feet uh, longer. Any extra conditioning for that? Well, at this stage, it's a little difficult. But I have, I have we noticed last year uh, in the later stages of the game, uh, our kids uh, did show a little more fatigue than they normally would. Again, how do you match up with the Well, they have a six-three center. They have uh, their their size. Their size is a factor. Their speed is a factor, uh, and their shooting uh, is. I mean, they they're deep. They're they're uh, very talented. Uh, and as most of the coaches I've talked to around the state who've played them, uh, just can't compare them to anybody that they've played on their schedule because they are such a unique type of basketball team. So in, as far as matchups, I guess uh, from that standpoint, uh, I'm not sure we match up real well, but I'm not sure anybody does in 2A. Can you beat them with your speed and quickness then? Well, that's going to be one of our factors. They are they are a quick basketball team as well. I talked to with... with uh, one of the coaches in the southern part of the state, and he said, I thought we were quick, but he said, they ran right past us. I called timeout and asked my kids to pick it up, and they said, Coach, we're going as fast as we can. So uh, they do have they do have a lot of weapons, a lot of weapons. So it'll be a real test for our kids to see if we can uh, stay with them. Did they move up the class this year, too? No, they did not. They were, they were 2A last year. Got beat uh, by Evansville Modern Day, who did win the state championship. And uh, they're very young. They're they're a very young basketball team in terms of uh, uh, classes, but uh, they're very talented. I look for them to be uh, one of the one of the, well, they'll be number one coming out of the gate next year in in two A. So personally, for you, how would it feel winning state this year again? Well, I couldn't. I really uh, would feel very blessed, but because it's it's uh, just something that. You know, uh, if from a coaching standpoint, uh, you never know when your last win or your last whatever is your last one. And, you know, just like uh, some of the teams of experience haven't been there for, I think, North uh, 
Norwell had, had been since 1977, since they'd been a semi-state. So it's not as easy as uh, it appears sometimes. It, it's difficult. You got to, you've got to have talent. You've got to have some luck along the way. But if it would uh, if it would come our way, I just I'd feel very very blessed. Again, you've been lucky just to have the players that you have. Oh, I, I'm very fortunate to have the team that uh, that I have. I I just uh, feel very fortunate, and they're great kids. They've They've worked hard, tried to do everything we've asked of them, and uh, it's a it's a neat group of kids to work with. Are you guys playing your best basketball right now? I think we're approaching uh, our peak. Uh, hopefully, we've got one more magnificent game in our uh, repertoire.